There are over 115,000 post boxes in the United Kingdom. They are a true cultural icon, and more than that, they're an intrinsic part of everyday life in Britain, with the Royal Mail delivering 16 billion letters and parcels every year. That's 44 million a day. But not all of these post boxes are red. When they were first introduced in the 1800s, the UK's post boxes were in fact green, although shortly painted red to help them better stand out. There's even two surviving blue post boxes, used very briefly in the 1930s for airmail, one in Manchester and the other in Windsor. But the ones I'm interested in, however, have been painted gold. It started on the 24th of July 2012, when a double post box in front of London's Westminster Abbey became the first to be painted in celebration of London's hosting of the Summer Olympic and Paralympic Games. And this became the flagship for what saw over 100 post boxes across the British Isles painted gold. And whilst the Westminster Abbey box was a sort of overall flagship for the scheme, the other 100 or so have a bit more significance. Each one represents a gold medal won by the United Kingdom, with the post box being painted in the athlete's hometown. First we visited Bentworth to see the post box honouring Peter Charles, who won gold for equestrian team jumping. Interestingly, there's also a second post box four miles away in Alton that was painted by mistake, which the Royal Mail chose to keep anyway. Next we went on to Sunningdale to see one of Sophie Christiansen's gold post boxes for Paralympic Equestrian. As she won three gold medals, there are three gold post boxes, with the other two in nearby towns. The one in Sunningdale even features an old-fashioned stamp dispenser, also painted gold. In Milton Keynes, we found a pair of gold post boxes, painted for Greg Rutherford, who won gold in men's long jump. And in Avermore in Northern Scotland, we found the post box for David Smith, who won gold in the Paralympic mixed rowing. And the good news? They're here to stay. The project was originally only intended to be temporary, but after the public fell in love with the golden boxes, it was decided to keep them for good. The Royal Mail has since added a plaque to each box, explaining what and who they're for. Today they've become something of a tourist attraction, a wonderful landmark and lasting tribute to the athletes who achieve glory for their country.